Alright guys, hey, how's it going? Um, just going to show you today uh, how to make a uh, Juvie uh, Blue Goose out of the White Rock Rockonomies. Uh, they've got videos out there already of making the Snow Goose and the actual Blue Goose, but uh, anybody that's ever hunted snows before knows that there's a lot more mixed into it with the Juvies, both Snow and Blues. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a little quick rundown here of how I made mine. Uh, I made 40 dozen of them uh, this last spring. So I'm just getting my last ones finished up here, the Juvie Blues. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. Uh, when you first take these Rockonomies out, all right, they're usually folded up and rolled up, something similar to this. One thing i found that helps when you take them out is you take the neck collar and fold it on the inside and it'll puff it out so it's a nice open circle so it catches a lot more air as it puffs out. All right. uh, one thing i found for paint that seems to work the best is these, uh, is these primers. You can hear the dog in the background. Um, these Rust-Oleum primers, they seem to work a lot better on the bags than uh, the regular camouflage paints do. So I just get the, uh, the black, the white, and then the, uh, the gray primer. You can get these at any Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, I get mine at Walmart just because they're a little bit cheaper. All right, so going into the actual painting of this thing. On the rock economies, you'll know that they got the drain holes right here on the bottom, the two of them. Now, I, uh, I like to be a little bit more anal retentive than most guys do. Um, so I'll paint up these decoys both on the top and the bottom half. Uh, like I said, you got the drain holes on the bottom. Usually what I'll do to start painting this is I'll go between that first and that second drain hole and I'll just make a nice little arc with the, with the gray primer. Do that, fill the rest of the body in. All right, you don't have to worry about a clean line. All right, that'll give you that nice white rump right on the bottom. All right, flip it over. It's about 75, 80 degrees out today, so this stuff will dry pretty quick. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the backs of it, cover everything up nice and good with this gray primer. All right, all I'll do is I'll just stick my hand on the inside, get the sides that wanna fold in. All right, you don't have to do this for the rest of them, but for these juvies what I like to do is I'll take the back support along with the stake, I'll put it in without the nut, without the push nut, and I'll just go and I'll set it out in my yard and I'm gonna let the sun and the wind do the work for me on drying those out. All right, so I'll do that with all 12 of them. All right, once it's all done and dry, Okay, this is your dried bag, okay, white rump goes down, all right. One thing I'll, I like to do, um, I've got a bunch of different stencils over here. I've got the white rocks uh, that are available from them uh, up here on the, uh, on the ledge, but I've also got a couple of other ones here that you can go ahead and you can buy off of eBay. Um, that's where I got these from. You know, and all that's going to do for you is it's going to change your uh, your patterns up a little bit because I don't like anything to look the exact same. All right, so unlike blue geese that have a lot of white um, that pops, the juvies not so much. So what I'll do is I'm going to take my white rock stencil, just put it down on the top of the bag. All right, and I'm going to get my white my white primer. And then for this particular one, I'm only going to go up about halfway on the stencil. All this is just a little piece of cardboard. Just ripped it off. And then I'm going to fill in with the white here to give me a little bit of white feather detail. All right, once that's done, I'll pull my stencil. Again, these are juvie blues, we're not going to make adult blues. And what I'll do is I'm going to set this to the side and let it dry. Once it's dry, all right, the key to this with all this paint is layering. All right, make sure everything's nice and dry. I'll only do these about a dozen at a time because by the time I get done with my first 12 and move on to the second 12, um, or excuse me, once I get done with the 12 and I move back to the beginning, that next bird's already dry. 
So what I'm gonna do after the white is I'm just gonna take my black primer, all right? The stencil, you'll put it directly over where the white was, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust it up probably a quarter of an inch to a half inch. All right, take this off, hold my stencil down so I'm not getting a lot of underspray. All right, and I'm just gonna go back over everything. Same places that I just went for my white. As I said, you know, these are juvie blues and they're not adults, so we're not gonna have a t white over everything. So I'll finish filling in the rest of what I did not cover with white. All right, pop my stencil. And as you can see, that basically gives me my 3D effect there on the bottom with that white highlighting those feathers. All right, set that off to the side, let that dry. One I've already got pre-done up. Okay, so we've already got our, our 3D feathers. Now I'm gonna take my tail piece, put my tail on. Paint it up, pull it. And there you got your juvie blue. Set it off to the side, let it dry, and then put it together just like you normally would uh, any of your other rock economies. Okay. Uh, the one thing I like, like I said about these other stencils, is I'll mix and match all the different ones that I've got so that way nothing looks the exact same. Um, if you look over here, the stuff that I've got setting out, uh, you can see all the different feather patterns and everything. What I'll do is once I get these things put together, I'll put them all out here in my backyard and I'll let them sit for roughly about a week. Let the, let the wind run through them. Um, you know, if the rain comes through, it's basically going to get them weathered up, let, let everything get shaken out before I put them up for the season. So I hope you guys found this informative and uh, if there's anything else you guys want to know or anything else you guys want to see, uh, hit me up in the comments section and we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks for your time.